I've had a lot of experience with this over the years. And for many years, I've been practicing and developing the skills for four-part writing and all of the technical demands, not to mention the artistic ones. I suppose the biggest hymn writing project I've done was about 15 years ago, I made the acquaintance of Orson Scott Card online. And Scott has written many, many hymns over the years, which he shared with me, and we collaborated together, finally producing a book with about 55 original hymns that he and I did together. So occasionally people contact me and have me help them with their hymn writing project. Here's an example from a sister who's an experienced musician. She'd written the words for a hymn and written the melody, and even written it down. Sometimes people just send me recordings of themselves singing a tune. But in this case, she sent me her melody. She wanted me to do a harmonization and and create a score that looked professional. So I take that and start to work with it. It is possible to work directly in the software, and sometimes I do do that, but I find usually I get a better result if I work with paper and pencil at first. Mm -hmm write it out by hand, and then play it in. I'm doing a fairly traditional harmonization here, which is what was wanted, and really it's what's wisest and most effective in most cases. This process here that I've abbreviated quite a bit is one that it really takes years and years to develop the skills to be able to do. You can do notation and learn the software for that in a matter of weeks, but it takes years of practice and experience to develop the skill to harmonize and to write at a professional level. One detail you might notice I've changed is the key of the piece. Originally, she wrote it in C with the melody spanning an octave from C to C, which is fine. That's very good, actually. But in the LDS hymn book, the average melodic range is from D to D. And that also gives me a chance to do a little bit of a lower bass note near the end. So I've raised it up a tone. Once the four-part setting is done, I play in each part on a different MIDI track. And then we can play this back all together. So now I prepare the MIDI for scoring. Each staff will have two layers for those times when we need stems up and stems down. So I select all the notes that I want to be in layer one and cut them and paste them up into the top track. So there we go. Do the same thing with the tenor and bass. You see there's just, there's one note there that's a unison, so that'll be stands up and steps down, and also one case where there's a different rhythm. Paste the layer one notes up there. And now we're ready to export a MIDI file and bring it in to Finale. So now we'll open up Finale. I've taken a previously created hymn score and erased all the notes to use as a template. It's already formatted the way I like. So we'll open up the MIDI file we just created. There it is. 
you can see uh, lines on staff two and four have just a few notes in them that we're going to change to layer two. And I think first I'll change the key signature to the proper one, D major. We'll get rid of all the funny accidentals. There we go. And now we convert to line two to layer two, and you'll see the notes change color into red. And I'll do the same thing for staff four. And then I have to combine three and four together, and then one and two together. And then just delete line two and staff four as well. There we go. And I just select my notes, copy, go into my template, paste, and there we have all of the notes. Now, converting into layers has given us some rests in layer two that we want to hide. So we'll just go through and hide those. And as well, it's inverted some of the uh, staff, the stem directions. So I'll fix those. So here are the lyrics. I've already gone through and formatted them with uh, hyphens to separate syllables. I just start clicking on each note and it adds the next syllable. It's a fairly quick process. So I'll go through and do all three verses that you can see here. And then there's some notes that need slurs, some syllables rather that need slurs to go through and do those. It's one of the last things. I can also adjust the positioning of all the lines and, and uh, some other formatting things. And then here we have the finished score. Now, from beginning to end, that whole process took me about two hours. So for the price of a few piano lessons, she got a professional looking and sounding score and was very, very happy.